Today I am doing a tutorial and kind of like review and stuff, swatches of the new Urban Decay Naked Cherry collection. If you live in New Zealand, Australia, you can get this at Mecca, one of my favorite shops of all time, as you guys know, online and in its store. And the collection does not just include an eyeshadow palette, oh no. There are also three brand new lipstick shades which I've swatched at the end of this video for you, so stay tuned for that. They're actually really fun, even though two of them are metallic and I'm terrified of metallic, as you guys know, they are so glossy looking which I think is really on trend right now this is one of them now of course look how shiny like it's just nice and then there are also two 24 7 glide on eyeliners which you guys know I love these eyeliners so much I use them a ton in my videos this one here is called black market and it's like a satin black eyeliner just like a really good staple and then this is the other one called love drug and this is a beautiful like deep kind of wine purple shade and it's what I've used today so you'll see that later on in the tutorial the palette itself is so beautiful it does come with a little brush which is dirty because I used it. <laughs> it just sits in there. And you also get like a gigantic mirror which is so good for if you're on the go, if you're traveling. I cannot do my makeup in like those tiny little like powder compact mirrors. Like I don't know how people do that. And then the palette itself features 12 new shades. There are some beautiful mattes and then some super intense metallic shades as well. It's quite nice because it's kind of like you know a neutral palette except it does have a bit of color in it. So it's a really nice one to add to your collection. It's not just like another boring neutrals. You've definitely got a whole lot of different options in here. And then the last little thing in this collection is the All Nighter Spray. It's in a nice little travel size and it's cherry scented and I know so many of us, including myself, hate cherry scented things. But I was so happy when I sprayed this for the first time. It does not smell like fake cherry lip gloss. This just smells so fruity and fresh like it smells really good it is not your classic like cherry lip gloss that's been sitting in your mum's bathroom drawer for 12 years. It's Good. Okay, like go smell it. So if you do want to see how I created this look and see all of the brand new lip swatches as well, then just stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, I've already started with my base and my eyebrows. I just thought it would save a little bit of time. I'm wearing the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and on my eyebrows is Cabral by Benefit and then the Urban Decay Brow Tamer. We're going to dive straight in to the eyeshadow because that's like the most exciting part. These colors are freaking gorgeous. I especially love these ones kind of like in here. They really speak to me. I don't know what it is. They just really speak to me. <laughs> so the palette comes with a little double-sided brush. I'm going to start with this like blending side and I'm going to actually dive in to this shade here which is called Juicy. Oh I better prime my eyes first. I'm actually going to use this one right here from Urban Decay. It's actually a light one which is cool. It's called Free Base. Now going in with the shade Juicy. I'm popping this just in at the crease. It's going to be my first transition shade. It's such a beautiful like kind of light peachy shade. Then the next shade I'm going to take is the shade Bing, which is a beautiful like medium purplish tone. And I'm going to apply that in at the deeper part of my crease, just layering it on top of the other shade. I'm just using another brush to kind of like blend the edges as I go. And then I'm going to flip the brush and use this kind of like little pencil side and I'm going into Devilish. It's a little bit more of like a cherry kind of undertone, a little bit darker than the previous shade. And I'm going to press this on the outer corner. Okay, so now we're looking something like this. Don't worry about it not looking too blended because we're going to like tidy it all up. I've just like wiped off my little pencil brush. And I'm first going to go into the shade Bang Bang. I haven't used this one yet. It looks so pretty. It's like a light peachy shade and it's super metallic. And I'm just applying that straight on the inner corner and kind of buffing it up onto this like inner part of my crease. Next I'm just going to take my setting spray and wet the same brush and I'm going to use this on one of the metallic shades just to create like a super like liquidy kind of effect. That sounds weird but you know what I mean, like make it super intense. I'm going to go into my favourite shade in the palette which is called Ambitious. It is so beautiful. I'm going to kind of put that on my eyelid like in this leftover space. I'm going to take a tiny bit of the shade Privacy and just kind of lay that on top of the outer corner and the deepest part of my crease just to make it a little bit more vampy looking. And I'm literally using the smallest amount of those because I don't want to cover up all the other colors. Now for the bottom lash line, I'm going to start with the, the color Love Drag, the 24-7 eyeliner. I'm putting that straight into my waterline. And then I'm using the brush I use the darkest color on, but I'm going to mix in a little bit of the shade at Devilish and then just tuck that in underneath my lash line. 
Now I'm just going to do a really thin line of eyeliner on my top lash line, liquid eyeliner, just so it's kind of sharp. Just like that, so I did a little wing as well, well it's little for me, anyway. I'm just going to pop on my mascara and lashes, and I'll be right back. And I am back! So these lashes are called the wild one, I chose them because they're quite edgy, and I want to do like a bold lip with bold eyes today. First let's just do a little bit of contouring and everything, because I feel a little bit round. <laughs> to contour today, I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Contour Kit. Even putting a little bit onto my lip just to kind of make my lips look a little bit more poppy. <laughs> Is that the word like out? Bigger. I'm going to take a little bit of my Baked Body Frosting and Tahitian Glow by Laura Gallo. I'm actually using this on my chest today. It's like one of my favorite body bronzes, but it's also nice on the face. So I'm just using a little bit on this medium face brush just around my temples, a little bit down my nose, and just on the top of my cheeks. I think I'm going to skip blush today and just do like a nice bright highlight. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter. I love this one. It's super intense. I'm just using a small face brush to apply this. A little bit on the chin. I want super glow skin today. And I'm not worried about using too many powders because we're going to use a setting spray just to see everything down in a second. So of course we're going to use this setting spray again, which is the one I used earlier on my eye makeup as well. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Cherry Scented Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I love Urban Decay setting sprays. They're like some of my all time favorites. You guys already know you've seen me use them probably like 200 times in my videos. This one is cherry scented, but what I like about it is it's not like, you know, cherry lip gloss, how it's got that really pungent, like strong, sickly smell. It's not like that. It's a more natural kind of cherry flavor scent, if that makes sense. I actually can't get enough. So that is just going to soak in. Now for the other fun part, the lips. So I want to try on all of the lip colors for you today. Like you would have seen in the intro of the video, there are three new Vice lipstick shades to go with this collection. We have the shades Juicy, Devilish, and Cherry. So I'm going to try on each one for you right now. This is what the packaging looks like. Just so you know, it's got a cherry on it. Super cute. Evan Decay. And then on the bottom, you get your color and also the formula. So you can see this one's called Juicy. It is a metal. This is what it looks like up close. It's a nude metallic. I'm not the hugest fan of metallic lipsticks, but this one is a nude, so it's not going to be so, like, intense, if you know what I mean. It's definitely going to be more wearable. So that's how it Juicy looks. It's actually a very suitable name because it kind of just makes your lips look super juicy. It almost gives it the look of a lip gloss. These are really comfortable. They're not drying whatsoever, and it's definitely not sticky or anything like that. So yeah, that is the first shade. It's super wearable. I actually really like this one. Next up, we're going to do this shade called Cherry. This one is a cream finish. And here's what it looks like in the tube. It's super, super beautiful. This looks up my alley. Very bold, but such a sexy kind of color. It's very creamy as you can see. It kind of gives like a glossy look. Like it just looks like you've applied a clear lip gloss on top. So it's such a cool finish, especially since gloss is trending right now. Kind of like a cherry red mixed with a little bit of purple. Like that's how I would describe it. It's really pretty, especially if you love a deep, bold lip. I really like this one. This is probably my favorite so far. The last shade we have here is called Devilish. And as you can see, it is another metal. It is a kind of pinky cherry shade with a whole lot of shimmer. I'm a little bit nervous to try this on but also a little bit excited as well. I feel like it'll look cool with the eye makeup. Oh yeah, really cool actually. The thing I quite like about these metal finish ones as well is they're kind of like, not sheer, but they're very buildable. So you can do like one layer and get a more like glossy effect or you can layer it up a bit and get a more opaque lipstick look. Let's be real, it is not the type of color I would go for on an everyday basis, but surprisingly, I quite like it. So that is the final lipstick color. Let me know which was your favorite down below. I'm just like looking at my eye makeup and I just want to amp it up a little bit more. So I'm going to take some of the shade it feels and I'm going to mix in a little bit of devilish, which is that darker reddish shade we used. I'm just going to like deepen my crease. Sometimes you have to like wait till the end once you've got your lashes on, your lipstick and everything and just see if you need to like make it a little bit more intense. And I really think it looks really nice, a little bit bolder. 
So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys like this tutorial and review and everything. The quality of these eyeshadows, of course, is really good. Urban Decay eyeshadows are some of the best, in my opinion. I love the Naked palettes. In fact, like, honestly, that original Naked palette, you know, the very first one they ever did, that's, like, one of my favorite palettes of all freaking time. Like, I love it. So this is a really exciting release. It's a little bit more colorful, which is fun. And the longer I wear this look color, the more it's growing on me. It's very, like, Regina George. <laughs> Make sure you hit that thumbs up a button if you did enjoy this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one.